Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus singles love reading. Completely single Pisces. Completely single Pisces. Yes, I thought I'd better do one. Make sure we get some of that completely single Pisces. What can you expect in your love life? Who's coming towards you? New love connections, new love prospects for completely single Pisces. Single Pisces, what can you expect in your love life? Pisces. Enlightenment, wow. All right, something's about to uh, become enlightened here. Very interesting. Pisces, maybe some things that you need to know. Ooh, trust, very nice. Here he goes, another one, truth. Some kind of truth. Something's about to happen. Some clarity possibly as well with that card. Yeah, there's something coming here to do with trust. Maybe your intuition's kicking in here. <laughs> Let's see what's going on, Pisces. We'll put those aside. Pisces, completely single Pisces, new love connections, new love prospects. What do they need to know? Who's coming towards Pisces for new love? Pisces, new love connections, new love connections for Pisces. And then we have the King of Wands, beautiful. Yeah, there's somebody here. Could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, lovely. They, I think somebody here wants to know something. Yeah, someone feels like there's not a lot of hope. <laughs> Feeling a little left out. Could be somebody who's lonely. All right. Yeah. Wow. This is somebody very sexy and attractive or they're seeing you that way. They're very passionate here. This is a very passionate person. Very much so. They feel like there's no hope to have this uh, passionate new beginning with you. But I feel as though, yeah, there's something here. They're, they're not trusting it. They're at the Wheel of Fortune's here, though, so things are going to start going in your favor. This could be you feeling really passionate. Ah, there we go. We got some Pisces Cancer energy. I see something going in your favor. There's some romance here. Ooh, Cancer, Pisces. Look at that. Love. You're ready for love. Yeah, you might have a few trust issues with anybody. Yeah, you won't move forward with anybody. You may, end, may have ended something with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius where there's some kind of new cycle beginning possibly with one. So I feel there's some things that you want to know. You have some trust issues. You want to make sure there's no secrets. Yes, look at that. Yeah, you. I feel like you could have an Aries here. This is an emperor. This is somebody who, wow, there's somebody here who wants to invest in you. You have a leader. Very nice. Three of Wands. Yeah, they may be waiting for you. You may be waiting for this person to talk to you communicate with you this is something you've been waiting for i think your ships are here oh there's something somebody's coming to tell you a truth i think you have a secret admirer somebody who <laughs> finds you very attractive they feel like there's no hope though for some reason or they could be just somebody who's lonely and they're really ready for some passion they're really ready to connect with somebody lovely energy actually and i feel they are a leader they will take the lead this person will come chasing after you guaranteed yeah they are somebody you won't be so sure if you want to invest in them if they're very controlling so i feel like you're you know this is something you've been waiting for though i feel like you've been patiently waiting for your ships i feel that they're here yeah we got some temperance patience yeah you're gonna get an offer temper your emotions there's someone here you could have uh, some chemistry with here heading your way. This person's possibly uh, going to come in and give you a little test. One foot in the water. Not so sure, right? That's what you get when you see the Seven of Pentacles in Temperance. This person will sort of make you some kind of offer. Yeah, there's somebody manifesting a new beginning. Be patient. This is something you may have manifested. You're looking at this. Ooh, they could have Gemini in their chart beautiful energy pisces pisces so let's see what this king of swords or king of wands why is the king of wands here for pisces who is this person coming in now this is somebody who wants more clarity they want to know about you they don't know everything about you they kind of feel like there's no hope they might be a little insecure because they think you're really sexy and attractive 
So, but they are definitely, uh, they are somebody who's, you know, really focused on their career, their finances, very hardworking person, possibly very creative. Feel like they want clarity. They want to know more about you. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, yeah, they definitely will come in right. Don't you worry about that. They will come in right. They want justice. They'll go about things the right way. But they won't, I don't think this person will do too much until, uh, they may have some questions, want to get to know you, looking for clarity. They probably won't tell you everything about themselves right off the get-go. <laughs> tell me about that. But they, I mean, you, this could be your energy as well, wanting to know more. I feel like you may know who this person is already. If you don't, uh, they could uh, show up in your life at some time soon here. I would have to say during a season change so wherever you're living right now if the seasons are about to change it could kind of happen like fairly soon i'm feeling with the wheel of fortune this person literally could be the wheel of fortune they are a leader they're probably do quite well financially they've invested well i feel so yeah they're they're manifesting a new beginning with you i think this person's there but they may be wondering if you're invested in anyone else they don't know whoever they are there's things they want to know about you Tell me about the Ace of Wands. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, this person's definitely, oh yeah, they want to offer that cup of love. They want, they're ready for a fresh new start. Yeah, they are somebody who will commit. They are commitment material. I feel like they want to know if you're committed to anyone. Okay. <laughs> they want to know if you're in a commitment. They want to offer you this cup. Yeah, they're just trying to, you know, get themselves grounded. Uh, once they know it's safe and secure, right? Whether that you're single, that, oh, they are, they're going to do things just right. They feel that you're just right for them, too. And, you know, this is what they want, though, is they're wondering if there's any balance. So look at this. This is something that you've been wishing for. Your hopes and dreams are going to become fulfilled here. I feel as though some of you have been releasing something healing. And, yeah, this person feels the situation might be a little out of reach at this point because they need to know. I think, yeah, they want to come in and offer you this cup. Some of you may have a couple people coming towards you in the future. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Why is this here for Pisces? Woo, yep, sitting on the fence. you got a choice between two. This person's trying to figure out how to approach you, too, but they want things to go in their favor. They're going to be very careful how they talk to you. They likely will want to take you out, get together, chat. Oh, boy. If, if this person feels comfortable with you, safe with you, uh, relaxed with you, I feel uh, they are definitely a commitment person. They definitely want that. That's exactly what they're looking for. Somebody might have been living alone for a long time, and they're lonely, and now realize... It's time, right, to offer up that cup of love. Time to get back out in the dating scene, things like that. Yeah, so I feel like once this person is enlightened and they find out what they need to know, they're definitely going to want to come and see you. Uh, they'll move forward. They're going to gather some information here. So I, like, I feel like this person will communicate with you. They will reach out and communicate. And they'll likely have some questions, things they want to know. Wow. Yeah, this person's financially stable, very practical, very grounded. They possibly have some earth in their chart as well. They could be an Aries Taurus cusp, okay? Or they could have some earth, possibly uh, earth in their moon, but they could have a, a Cancer moon. And there's that's, that's uh, definitely a card for Cancer, but it's also Pisces a lot. So you may share the same moons. It could be telling you that. Very interesting. Yeah, this is somebody here who's, uh, you're holding back. I feel like this person's holding back a little bit too, just waiting, looking at the details. Once you guys talk and this person reaches out and you both find out what you need to know, I actually feel like you're going to hold back and kind of look at the details. Want to make sure there's no confusion, no mysteries, nothing that you, you know, it's just like feeling you need to protect yourself a little bit. This person may be like that too. They're very careful. They may be protective of their money if they're financially stable. They want to make sure everything's all good. Yeah, they get a lot of attention, I feel. This is definitely somebody who uh, gets a lot of attention because they're financially stable. So they're very cautious about that. 
Uh, they like to make sure, you know, who they're with has got some financial stability, that there's someone that they can trust, that kind of thing. You may have issues that way as well because it's right in the middle here. Very interesting. You're both going to wait patiently as this manifests. You both have the tools you need. I actually feel like you're both uh, financially okay or you're at least uh, comparable in, to some degree. But this person wants success with you. And they want to know if you're successful too. They want, And they also want to know, you know, if you're somebody who gets needs a lot of attention you know they don't want somebody who's uh going out getting a lot of attention but for some reason there's just some things they have trust issues about and i feel like it's more something of their own energy because they're financially stable they are trying to hold on to their money they're very careful who they pick so yeah this person's going to gain the strength and the confidence i feel like i feel as though you're both fairly strong and confident when it comes to your finances so yeah, this could be a reconciliation. It could be somebody you haven't seen. You may know this person, but this is a big decision, I think, for this person more than anything. Once they get clarity about you and they feel comfortable and feel safe with you, and I feel like it's a vice versa, yeah, this person will definitely be coming around. They may travel. I think this person is at a distance. And I feel once they gain that strength and confidence, they're going to come charging towards you because they want success. So, yeah, they may drop a few hints, reach out to you, just, you know, they're trying to find out some things. Yeah, you might have a couple people headed your way. You may have somebody here who isn't very generous, even though they're financially stable. They could be rather selfish, so watch out if you got two people. Yeah, you've got two. One's generous and one isn't, okay? So be careful, yeah. So you may end something with one person because you are feel like you need to protect yourself from them or they're too protective of their money. They won't share anything. They're somebody who doesn't share a lot of themselves. But it's also an energy of, if it's all one person, somebody who is, like I said, financially stable, protecting their money. And they won't kind of go crazy spoiling you at first until they know they can trust you. Okay. Wow, yeah, and then eventually this person will come in and express themselves once they feel comfortable, they express their feelings, and you'll have, you're going to have a new beginning with someone. It's something you've been waiting for. Your ships are here. Your ships are here. I don't think you're going to be single for a long time, but there's, if you, like I said, if it's one person, you're actually going to connect quite well with this new person. This is something you've been hoping for. This person could be really good for you, but if it's two people, one's definitely because I have to read the way I'm seeing it for if there's two. Because there is a choice here. But it's mostly about this person. Before they approach you or say anything, there's some things they want to learn about you. Because they are very protective of their finances. So, But one person here could be a little bit selfish or overly protective of their money. They may not. Um, I feel it's mostly telling me they don't share a lot of their feelings and emotions. So, and that's a King of Wands energy. It's definitely a King of Pentacles. So there's like, I feel like you got two people, maybe even three. Uh, because here comes the third. Yeah, you're going to have love here with somebody. <laughs> so you, you're gonna, you've got someone here who's loved up. So now I'm seeing Scorpio. I am seeing Cancer Pisces or Scorpio energy. But yeah, you've got some, everybody's got a little water in their chart here. We got Aries, Leo, Sag, we got Scorpio, we got Taurus, Virgo, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here now. So you have a few people. Soon as I said three, out comes another one. But there is someone here who, who will wait to get to know you. Uh, they won't let you know. They're not going to share a huge amount, like give you a lot of details of themselves at first, okay? And because they have trust issues, so... They definitely want to make sure you're single. This is somebody, you've got one person that's kind of wants to stay single and they may come towards you. Uh, I don't think you'll go for that person. I feel, yeah, you're going to cut somebody out. If they want to come towards you and they just want to stay single, you'll cut them out. You might just say, hey, I'm going to stay single. It might You might give them kind of an excuse. If there's someone who really doesn't want to have a commitment. But there is somebody here who does. We have someone here who's going to, who's ready for love. You know, I feel like the other person is mostly holding back, sharing their feelings until they know they feel comfortable with you and then they will express themselves fully. So beautiful. And I feel these trust issues, it's across the middle. So it's you too. You're 
You're not so trusting. You've been hurt before, Pisces. Love's been an uphill battle, so you're very careful. You will be asking a lot of questions, and you will cut out anybody who comes in but says they want to stay single, okay? Because you're not going to go for that. I can see that. You're ready for that commitment. You want someone who reciprocates and shares feelings, or if you have someone who's emotionally detached or emotionally unavailable or won't share their emotions because they're afraid to be vulnerable, again, you're going to have issues with that. But there's one person here who definitely will share their feelings. Tell me about this emperor. This is the one that's going to, there's the emperor and the empress. Yeah, it's, whew, we are in that year, I'll tell you. It's a big year for people. Yep, you, you're having a new beginning with somebody here. Someone who's going to value you. Um, wow, I feel like it's possible that you both have some fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, or Sag. I see that as well. I see some Leo energy. I see Sag energy here and Aries. So there's a, you've got some people around you, Pisces. I feel like there's something here. You're going to end something with one person and you're going to move towards someone else and they may be at a distance feel like that person's an Aries Taurus cusp. I don't know why. And I feel like they have, they share, uh, if you've got water a watery moon as well, or they may have a watery moon. Yeah, you've got someone who's coming in and see things through. This is somebody who's mature. Their passions are under control. So someone who will express themselves in very passionate ways too. I feel like some of you, like I, if you, some of you have, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Scorpio moons or something, that's going to be a connection there as well. There's something going to draw you together with this fiery person. Wonderful. This is really an interesting read. So like I say, there's your ships. You got three and three. I think you have three people around you that you're interested in or that are interested in you. So and you're not going to be sure here. You're not going to be sure who to invest in. Yeah, you're going to end something with one person for sure because your ships are here. You're going through a big transformation. This could change everything. It's a game changer. So you have someone who wants to come and speak a truth. So you may have somebody who wants to tell you they have feelings for you or they will eventually. You might date someone for a while. They could be at a distance or they may um, just as they're learning. This is somebody who kind of learns as they go. They're going to watch you, look at the details. They're going to be looking into the future sort of envisioning themselves with you, okay, as, or vice versa. Beautiful energy. Uh, that Somebody here who holds back their feelings will eventually express them. You've got love, yeah, someone will eventually tell you exactly how they feel. It'll be out of the blue. You're going to meet someone very suddenly, and it may be a bit of a shock. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about enlightenment. Why is this here? What is this enlightenment about? What is this here? What's needing to be enlightened here? What needs to be enlightened? I feel like you're not enlightened who these people are, some of you, for sure. At least not all of them. There's more things that need to be known. Yeah, so some of you are definitely, you're going to, yeah, you got a couple people. You're going to be going, you know, a little bit undecided which person. You're going to be going in a couple of different directions. Somebody's definitely, uh, once they f figure you out and see what you're all about, they're going to want to come and see you. I can see it. They're going to use all the power they have. But you got someone here who's hiding their feelings. Yep, somebody's going to go about everything just right. So someone will be paying attention to the details, conversations. Very interesting. Yeah, there is going to be some cooperation cop. Oh, yeah, you got a team player here. Somebody who's willing to cooperate and compromise. I feel, uh, wow, this is really interesting. You're going to have some things in common really well with one person. Because I we've got the king, the emperor and the empress here. And this is your person. I think it's going to be this fire sign. They could be an Aries. They could have Leo in there. Or you, like I said, you could have two. Because I'm, I'm seeing all fire signs here. Heavy energy of fire signs. <laughs> so some of it could be yours if you've got fire in your chart. Yeah, there's some truth coming out, some truth, some clarity. You're going to have an aha moment when somebody comes in and tells you they have feelings or they're ready for a new beginning in love or that kind of thing. It's going to happen very suddenly, so prepare yourself for this. I feel like when the seasons change, you're going to meet this person. 
and you could meet this one of these people you could meet shopping at a mall an outdoor market that kind of thing okay uh, at a bank even things like that somewhere around like that kind of thing there's money involved here stability I always see that as when you're going to meet someone and they make you this offer it is definitely always shopping a market a bank um, if you work uh, in the investment industry in any way, do payroll or something, you could meet them at work or in your building, in an elevator, anything like that, okay? I'm seeing this archway, I'm seeing a small space. I feel like this is somebody who's definitely commitment material. This is somebody who will have your back too. So I, I feel very strongly an Aries Taurus cusp for a lot of you. And they are someone that once they get to know who you are, they will express themselves and tell you that they're ready for a new beginning in love. And it's going to be like, wow. Could be someone who's like that you've known before too, that's never expressed themselves to you. Could come as a surprise. Yeah, they're going to jump in and take a leap of faith. You're going to go for this. I'm going to tell you right now, you are going to take a leap of faith towards this person. Or if it's an Aries, they're coming towards you. They're going to take this risk. <laughs> You're going to have a new beginning here. Wow. Tell me about truth. There we go. Oops, get back here. What is this truth? Oh, yeah, the truth. You got several people. You might reach out to someone. It could be on social media, a dating site for some of you. But I feel like what's going to happen, you're going to go out on a date here. You're going to talk to this person for a while. Uh, you may hook up. You may see each other. You know, like I said, I feel like you could meet shopping or a place of business uh, near a bank or a building or an outdoor market, that kind of thing. This person is going to be deciding how to approach you the next time that they want to hook up. They want to see you, they want to get, or they just want to get to know you. This is also my get to know you, move forward calmly and peacefully as they learn, right, and gather these swords and move forward. You're not the most trusting, though, uh, but you definitely will be speaking your truth and asking a lot of questions. One thing for sure, you want to make sure anyone that comes towards you is completely single or somebody who doesn't want to just connect and then uh, stay single, you know, you're not going to go for that. I can see that. I don't feel anything too harsh, though. Not with this water energy by it. It's just asking a lot of questions. Yeah, you definitely will be seeing the possibilities. you got options. You want to make sure nobody is just going to see you as an option or they aren't seeing other people. So, because you've been hurt before, I can see that. Love's been an uphill battle for some of you. Beautiful energy, you guys. Yeah, you're going to go out on a date. You definitely got, you've got people competing for your attention. You're going to go out with this person. You're going to have fun. This is positive. Five of Wands. Someone's going to take action. They're going to come right towards you. This is a change. You're going to end something with, if you're dating a few or you meet a few people in a short period of time, you're going to end it with one person for sure. It could be a Scorpio and move towards somebody else. You may not get along with the Scorpio very well. I feel like they... They may be the one that has other options or they have too many people involved. Maybe they talk too much, gossip, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, there's definitely someone who's going to want to come and see you. They're going to take action. And it's more than likely they're, they're definitely an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius sun sign. Yes, or an Aries Taurus cusp for some. So let me grab some outcome cards here. We'll wrap this up. Wow, you guys. Yeah, this person's at a bit of a distance. So you may meet them on social media, dating site. Uh, they will come and see you, guaranteed. This person, once they know some more about you, they're definitely going to be wanting to see you. Yeah, religious factors. You want to make sure you're on the pa same page. That you have the same beliefs, traditions, and behaviors, right? This is why you're going to be asking a lot of questions. You want to make sure that you're compatible. I feel like you will. Yeah, look at that passion. <laughs> yes, this person. You want to make sure, though, right? You're on the same page. You want to make sure they're not married and any other commitments. You're going to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, this is wonderful energy. You've got a connection, yeah. You're gonna let you're gonna be dating a couple people or meet a few. Don't feel like with one it's gonna go very far. 
you're not you're gonna maybe that you feel they're gonna manipulate you or something's not right or not sure you want to invest in them because of some kind of behavior and that's dead in the water <laughs> definitely so done yeah yeah you'll be having heart to heart conversation you're going to be talking to this other person this is your person right here this is your leader this is someone who's not afraid to take the lead this is somebody who will express themselves that they want to have a new beginning that they want to see you they want clarity they want to know more about you and they think you're very sexy and very attractive they're not going to be afraid to tell you that <laughs> And I feel like it's going to be vice versa. Wow, you got something special going on here. It's, uh, yeah, look at that. That card fell. Look what's left. Past life. So it's someone you've known before. It doesn't mean you've dated them. It could be someone from a long time ago. And, uh, like, you just never know who could show up. People you went to school with, high school, worked with in the past. You may have worked with one person before, possibly. This is calling in your soulmate. Yeah. Very, very interesting. There is reconciliation energy here, but don't assume because there's some similar signs that it's someone that you've broke up with. Okay. It could be, but a lot of times these this reconciliation energy calling in the soulmate. This is somebody who I feel very, very new energy because I see ending something with one person moving towards another Let's see, who is this person? You're going to love yourself first, definitely, your self-worth. Make sure you show this person that energy, that you love yourself first, okay? Very important. And that's the Empress. This person will hold you in very high regard. Uh, they are definitely in control of their passions. They'll let you know let you know that they find you attractive and that they want to see this through and they want to go for this, but they will keep themselves in check. There's one person here I think is going to try to test you, tempt you and by manipulating you. And that person's going to be booted out the door because you got this emperor. I'm going to just have a look-see. I just want to see if this is actually an ex or somebody you haven't been around for a long time. All right, Pisces. Who is this person? Yeah, this is something you've been wishing for. Yeah, there's a change. You're changing directions here. This someone's at a distance from you. It is possibly someone you've known a long time ago and they're at a distance. This person's definitely coming towards you. Wow, you're ending something with someone here who's not honest, right? Be careful what you wish for with that one person that's going to manipulate you. I see Gemini, possibly Virgo energy. That person's, you're, I don't think you're going to go for it. Not so sure you want to manifest a new beginning with that person. You might even have a couple people that you've known. Are we getting close to another Mercury retrograde or something? It might even be during that time. Yeah, unexpected visitor. Yeah, you've got somebody unexpected that you never expected coming back to talk to, to connect with. And you are going to connect with them really well. So... My gosh, I wish you guys the best. Keep your eyes open when you're out shopping at outdoor markets. Watch your social media. You may have an old high school friend or college friend or someone you worked with a long time ago. It feels like a long time ago. I don't know why because I feel like, I just feel as though it's like they, they need to know more about you because they don't know very much about you. So if it is a reconciliation, it's, there's obviously time apart where they don't know you so much anymore. And that's what I'm feeling. All right. So take care, everyone. Keep your eyes open. Wish you the best. And bye for now.